as you can see I've got quite a collection of glass fruit and glass vegetables my mother gave them to me after she collected them from yard sales and flea markets and second hand shops because I love my glassware and every so often I have to stand here and clean them all so they're all nice and shiny anybody want a pickle? tomato in my vegetables. It should be in my fruit basket. That's all my glassware. Well, some of it. This is my fruit and vegetables. This here, these ones are my paperweights. When we go around to secondhand shops and dump shops, this is the type of thing that we actually look for because I like to collect the heavier glass and the paperweight and uranium uranium glassware I'll show you some of mine when I lay them out um, and then you got the heavy glass that comes in different styles of animals um, that's a bird it's got a very pointy tail and pointy beak and it's very heavy um, a whale Again with pointy. That one's chipped. Oh, that's beautiful. Where did you get the whale? At a second hand shop in the little township. And then I've got lots I thought of I bought it for you for your birthday. No. No, you brought this one for my birthday, not no. last year. And we've got glass fish. They're pretty, pretty designs in them. I got this for my birthday last year. It's a paperweight. Butterflies inside. So these, the vintage ones, 
Yeah. The ones that are uh, authentic, what are they? What style? I'm not sure. Murano. I'm not sure whether they are Murano though. I'm not going to say that they're Murano when I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. They're in the style of Murano. I can't say whether they're authentic, but they're in the style of Murano. My genie bottles. You used to have a few of them. Yeah. Sold a couple when we needed money. I picked this up from the dump, dump shop. I absolutely love it. It was covered in someone, someone's child had drawn all over it in black ink. And I brought, brought it home and got out my nail polish remover and cleaned it all up. It looks fantastic. It's unbelievable that some of these things made it through being dumped and thrown out and then saved and salvaged and put in a second hand shop and bought home and cleaned up. This is a glass hat. Can you put them? <laughs> Forgot I had them on my head. <laughs> And to go with that is a glass handbag. So this is a little bit of my collection. Just some pretties that I collect. collection is depression glass from around the 1930s they used to make depression glass around the war times now you used to be able to get certain collector pieces from matinees they if you went to a matinee they'd give out um, one dish and then you'd come keep going back to see other movies and collect the whole set so I'll lay this down Six little sweet plates is what they're called. This is actually Bagley ware, and you've got the big serving dish. And if you brought a refrigerator back around that time or so, they'd give out the manufacturers would give out special items. Um, so this would be a water jug or a juice jug or something just to go in the fridge door. You also could collect a butter dish, butter dish with a lid. This is a uh, fruit juicer but I think this is just depression glass whereas the other glass I'll show you when I blade it all out does a special trick these are sweet dishes some glass tumblers they're very pretty they've got etchings inside glass. A uh, vase frog for your flowers. Frog, frog. Just a special little rosebud glass vase.
So yeah, it's what they call uranium glass, made around the 1930s, um, give or take. Some of it was made 10 years earlier, some 10 years after. But it's basically depression glass that had uranium inside it. So it was just the sort of glass they were using at that time. Not all depression glass is uranium glass. And you can get a few different sorts of uranium glass. There's like your Vaseline glass, um, normal uranium, and you can get it in sort of yellows, greens, clears. And this is Colette's little collection of it. She's just getting you the special light. Um, so it's a UV light or a black light. So this is just under the normal light in the dining room. It's got that um, typical depression glass green. So tell us about the light. This is a special blue UV light. It will pick up the uranium glass and you'll be able to see the glass glow. Now that is glowing under the special UV light. The frog. Pardon? Go closer to the frog. This is why I love the depression uranium glass. Because I just love that it's different. I love how it glows. Move along with you. Over to the butter dish. There's glasses at the back. Pick one of them up and put the light inside it. You can be very lucky and pick it up at cheap sh shops um, for just a couple of dollars, but it's getting rarer and rarer to find it. Um, a lot of the collectors uh, want... Just run it back over these little six. A lot of the collectors are collecting it and they tend to be working at those little second-hand shops and pick it up for their own private collection or on sell it a little bit more than what you can pick it up yourself. There you go, that's it back underneath the normal light. Do you want me to turn the fish tank light off? No, so it's, it's right. you perfectly picked, dark. You picked it up, didn't you? All right. Oh yeah, it picked it up real good. Yeah. Oh, good. So that's my little collection and my addiction. Thanks for watching. Well, put the light on yourself, see if you go. Oh. Ura uranium? <laughs> no. <laughs> Very good. Hey, sh shine that up near your face again. Your teeth get really white. Yeah, <laughs> no plaque on my teeth. <laughs>